Hello guys, this is my quick review and unboxing for the Reebok Soul for ATS, which is one of the designs for the running sneakers Soul Fury series. So, let's check it out. Alright guys, the box appears to be a custom made for the Soul Fury shoes that looks like a Tech Lab inspired theme. What I have here is the ultra purple and neon green version with white midsole and black outsole. The color combination is very loud as you can see and have that futuristic technology style design. It really caught my attention when I saw it for the first time. The design is well crafted and like I said, it looks futuristic for running shoes. The shoelace is round type and there are no eyelets. It's just inserted to a fabric similar to lace keeper that we usually see at the center of most shoes. The upper material is neoprene fabric similar to those used in scuba diving and other wetsuits. It provides a flexible sock-like fitting which is really comfortable to your feet. I noticed that there are threads that are exposed which probably part of the style and looks durable and thick enough. But still, be careful not to cause any damage on this part. The midsole is wider on the lower part and got many corner or edge designs. The collar or lining is flexible enough to insert my foot. And as for the insole, I don't feel anything special. It's just an ordinary one with no additional cushioning. As you can see, the Soul Fury offers a split white midsole and black outsole with a hollow center which makes the design kinda unique or unusual than the traditional running shoes. There's a plastic plating with holes probably for additional ventilation and to provide support below, since the center is hollow. I think the center of the shoe is sturdy enough to support the impact on the ground while running, while the split midsole kinda looks like a Gundam's foot, which really caught my attention and bought it, since I like those anime series. I wish they would release a collaboration with the Soul Fury. I strongly suggest that since those kinds of things are now trending. After wearing it for several times, here are the things that I noticed. There are many creases or lines appeared. I understand that creases are just normal to running shoes since the sole is much softer or flexible as compared to daily walking shoes. But there are more lines on the sole fury as compared to my other running shoes such as the Nike Run Swift maybe because the sole is wider and got many edges. Also be careful on taking the stairs as you might fall out of balance when you accidentally step the edge on the split sole portion. Overall, my experience on wearing it is fair enough. It is not that perfect and it takes time to get used to it since you're going to feel that there's a hollow part on your feet while running. Definitely not a pair of shoes for those who don't like creases. I'm still okay with the lines since these are just normal for me. Thank you for watching and I hope this video helps you decide if you're going to buy this or not. Please subscribe to my channel for other review videos.